Amid the pandemic, nature goes on. This is a critical time of year for one of our smallest creatures, and we talk with a bee expert on why this time is so important. So what we're going to do right now is just listen to them sing. Girls, move over a little, talk to them a little bit, and feed them. And they're being really calm and beautiful. There are some critical things that happen, and as bee managers, we are involved in a lot of them. One is, is that they are trying to get through that arc of winter to make sure that they have food at a time that they don't. And last year, about half of the beehives in the United States did not live through the winter. We're pulling these frames because we're doing a quick inspection. We want to see if the queen's here. So we need to, you know, continue to keep working on keeping these hives healthy and making more if possible. These are empty cells that we should start to see some eggs in. They're definitely essential to our survival. And that's why there's been so much uh, research being done and communities are becoming more aware that we've got to make sure we bridge them over from winter to spring alive with a healthy queen. There she is, green marked dot. with a green dot. By June, by mid-June, by the first day of summer, each of those should have 80,000 bees approximately. Thank you, girls. Thank you to photojournalist Foster Gaines for putting that one together. Now, experts recommend people do not use pesticides to help the bee population.